Thank you for staying with Weekend Prime. Welcome back. Now, resettlement of refugees has been taking place in Kenya since 2016. The Kalobeye Settlement Scheme, for example, was created after an influx of refugees in Kakuma in Turkana. The Turkana community, which is the host community, is however unhappy over the program. It claims that refugees are being given top priority as they languish in poverty. Beldin Waleula visited the area and tells us their story. In northern Kenya, west of Turkana County, lies Kakuma, where more than 250,000 refugees are hosted. The bustling town of Kakuma, whose economy thrives due to the presence of refugees, hosts Kakuma Refugee Camp and Kalobeye Settlement Scheme. The camp started in 1992 following the sudden influx of refugees who had fled the war in Sudan. Since then, there has been an influx of refugees from war-torn states such as Somalia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Burundi, Eritrea, and Uganda. Due to large numbers, the UNHCR started resettling some of the refugees. The county government of Turkana offered more than 500 acres to resettle the refugees in 2016. Though our access to the camp was limited, we managed to get a view of how the resettled refugees lived at the Kalobeye Resettlement Scheme. Here, the refugees are supported through cash programs to encourage self-reliance. These are the first pilot shelters that were built for resettling refugees at Kalobeye Resettlement Scheme. But resettling or integration of refugees has not been well received among the host community. In this town hall meeting where the host community, the Turkanas, met refugees, to discuss how they are going to integrate in the community as they are being resettled, they did not hesitate to raise the challenges they are facing. Turkana, just like any other northern Asal county, is dry. The residents say for more than two years they have not seen rain. For Hadas, it has been tough. The largest river where even the residents depend on for water is now a sand bed. This is the only water point in this river that residents of Kakuma town depend on. They claim they spend hours fetching water that is not clean. Yet, those living in camps just a few kilometers from them have water in plenty. If refugees are getting enough water, why can't we also get enough water? Because maji yetu yetu inatoka kwa hii laga tarachi. Na unajua the level of water maji yenye kwa refugee ni mengi sana kushinda yale. Sisi bado tunachota maji kwa laga. But refugees are tapped water. Hii hapa tuko na shida ya maji. Ichimbua hata mfereji, tunashea na umbo maji, nguruwe, chesea maji. Pia nae pia ukenda ukenda upande wa chakula nini, watu wana struggle sana kupata chakula. Ndiyo unapata hata mtoto mdogo anaingia town akiwa angali mdogo sana kutafuta tu. The other complaint residents of Turkana had is deforestation carried out by refugees who mostly depend on charcoal to prepare their food. The locals are calling on more sustainable ways of cooking food. And since that time, let me tell you, Turkana, imekua desert. And that is why wakati waliwana hivyo waka, waka sota utu bamba kuni. Unawana sasa? Well, you are sorting to Bambakuni and yet we just support the community to work a meeting mingi. The refugees also face myriad of challenges like accessing identification for their children who were born in Kenya. The host community wants laws to be amended so that men who sell children with the locals are resettled in Kenya so that they can take care of their children. Most children born from refugees and locals lack identification. Therefore, cannot advance in life. Refugee akifanya ndoa na mkenya, inamanje kwa mba ya kwa ina better opportunity to apply for Kenyan citizenship by first applying for a dependency pass. Ile ya kwanjusha kwa mba, anaishi hapa Kenya na ameolewa na ama ameowa mkenya. Tuko na wanaume na tuko na wanawake. Most of them have married our women. Na wameza watoto. Sasa kitu chajabu ni komba, watoto hawa ni wanani. The host community also wants those with families to be given priority when it comes to resettlement. Ule mtu ako na bibi na watoto, 
It should be integrated. Abaki na bibi hapa. Eh washughulike wote they should carry the burden together. Hapa naenda resettlement ama unaenda ama unaenda repatriation ati unawacha bibi na watoto Getting work has also been a thorn in the flesh to some of the host community. Utapata kwamba hata kama waki advertise kazi, watazamu ya advertising for 100 positions. Alafu 70 positions will be given to refugees and then 30 to the host community. Besides the complaints, the residents say that the camp has been an economic pillar to them. Hatuna shida na mambo ya integration kati ya mandugu zetu huko na wale host in fact, we don't call them refugees. We call them brothers. Na tunashukuru inchi ya Kenya kwa kuweza kutupea na fasi ya kukaa. Sababu kama tumekimbia, atukwa tunajua kwamba tunaenda wapi. Lakini, wa Kenya wakaona apana kulingana na matatizo amba mkonayo wacha tuwapea ifadhi. But with the Refugee Act of 2021, Refugees are now able to access and move freely, have a right to work in Kenya, and better access to financial services. The Kalobei settlement, which is more than 500 acres, aims to give refugees a monumental step towards self-sufficiency. But the host community, mostly the Turkanas, say more participation still needs to be done and a discussion on how their welfare will be improved in the same regard. Building. Walia Ulakete News, Kakuma, Tulu.